Hello, this is Bob, the Flying Dutchman. I'm uh, going to show you around in uh, one of our pilot rooms. So if you're considering uh, buying a pilot production room, that gives, this gives you, a, let's say, a short visual tour of what it will look like. So let's have a look. Again, as you can see, this room will have uh, two, ro two rows of sumac. They're each 12 meter long and four levels high. That gives a good representation how it will look like on a commercial scale. Um, each room is equipped with a climate unit. Well, you cannot see it on the video belt yet, but the climate unit is hanging here above me. And again, you have an air dividing system, which makes sure you have a proper air dividing uh, between the rooms. Uh, what we measure in a room is one hand, of course, temperature, uh, but also, for example, on this side, we have the uh, CO2 and ammonia. So we, we measure that levels in the room. Um, from the machinery side, because again, I will take you a guide to the tour, uh, to the room, but uh, this is what we call the zoom puller. This takes care of pulling in our zoom flexible floors into uh, the zoom rack. And we'll go a bit further, again here, this is what we call uh, a substrate sensor. So this measures the temperature of the substrate. So we are able to measure at different points in the room the temperature of the substrate, which is key because of course um, yeah, you want to look after the, the conditions of the lab. So again, room climate is nice, but your substrate temperature is key. When we walk further, uh, again, here is this is for example uh, for also the humidity in the room to measure it. And perhaps when we, yeah, when we turn around a bit and when you look on top, uh, you will see the climate unit and, uh, and again the air dividing uh, in the room. For your view, depending on the, the setup you choose, if it's a panel room or round top structure, uh, again, still variables in there, you can choose to have the climate unit in the room or on top of the room. I'll take you further to the, to the zoom further. So normally a room has, let's say on one side we have the small entrance door where we just entered the room. On this side you have already you can see two big doors, you see one of them already open. And uh, on here you have the steel cables of the zoom puller going in. It is then connected to the flexible floor. And the flexible floor then goes to the zoom, to the zoom filler. Again, the equipment here is suitable for, um, for filling uh, an even layer of substrate into your zoom racks. Again, on a, probably on another video, we will explain you the details how the zoom filler works. But at least now you have a proper view on how the setup is with regard to our zoom equipment and, the, yeah, and then again, a pilot room and the size how it is. So let's say bye-bye, gotta fly.